Hi friends, hope so you are all doing well. I am your instructor Imran and today we are going to work on the list view and specifically how to edit the data in the list view and how to delete the data in the list view. You can see my screen and let me tell you what we can achieve today. So let me click on, let me delete this one. Okay, so I'm just going to click on this four. I'm going to delete this. So just clicking on this delete icon, you will see it has been deleted. We can also delete the six and seven. We can also update. Just click on this update icon and write something like uh, updated value. So uh, update, update and you will see the updated value have been shown. So let's do this. Uh, but please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon. I have created a new file here, a custom list dot dart, and then I have just put here a stateful widget with the name as a my list page. Okay, and then in the main dot dart file, I just call the my list page in the home. Perfect. Now, till now, the result is this one. Now, let's add some more things. First of all, in the my list page, let's create here a list so you can see my list have been created so uh, let's call this list so i just put in here the body then i am going to call here a list view builder okay so list view dot builder so it needs one item builder so let's build this one so you can also use this uh, uh, you can see there's a, a suggestion here so I'm going to use the suggestion and going to write here the return and going to write here the list tile okay so this is this is the thing that I'm going to use here um, I need to remove this I think so I need to use another uh, uh, braces so that's why that was the problem how can I call? First of all, I need to write here the item count and call here the data dot length. Um, here in the list style, I need to put here the title, then put here the text, and then call here the data, the index. Perfect. Till now, you will see the result as a one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's wrap it with the widget named as a card and put here the color and put here the colors dot uh, let me call it a deep orange so you will see the result in this way perfect now let's add some padding here so i'm just going to add some padding and going to write here the 15 as a padding so you will see our list is working fine now how to delete the data in this list and also update the data so I'm going to write here the trailing and putting here the container. Okay. And in the container, I'm going to write here the child. And now putting here the row. Uh, let's add, let's write here the container width as a, a just like here the 20. And now in the row, put here the children, put here the icon button. Uh, it needs uh, on press functionality just like in this way and call here the icon and just write here icons dot add it uh, add it that's it now um, let's cut copy it and paste it again uh, but for now I need to write here the delete that's it okay uh, you will see some problem and some error is happening there and uh, some pixel it's creating some pixel issues so can i remove this one and i will see what's the happening now oh now it says the error because trailing needs doesn't need this uh, row okay so uh, we need to write here let me put here like as a 70 and let's restart it and let's see you okay okay it says 
uh, overflowed by 26 pixel I think so the previous one is working and it is not showing so let me restart it and let's see okay the relevant error was in the row okay so can I wrap it with the widget uh, sorry wrap it widget as expanded so and also wrap this widget with the expanded so let's see now okay now you will see the error having gone perfect now uh, this is uh, let's put here the main axis alignment and put here main axis alignment dot space between okay I think so it will not work because we are using the expanded here so now let's when we click on this uh, uh, this uh, cancel icon or delete icon the data will be removed so how can we do this first of all just write here the set state and write here data dot remove at and um, I'm going to write here the index so whatever the index will be selected it will be removed so let's remove this two okay so you just click it and you will see the two have been removed four have been removed and removed 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 because uh, if all these things are removed you will press the save it will still be in this uh, state but when I restart this because our data will be reload again so that's why our uh, complete you will see this this result okay perfect uh, now how to edit it Let, let's say that we're going to edit this too and I'm going to write something some new things here so uh, to edit uh, this is very simple first of all let's create here a show dialog okay so in the show dialog I need one builder so let's remove this and let's write here one builder and um, that builder uh, needs like one context so just write this one and write here now simple dialog okay and the simple dialog needs a lot of things so it needs a title and then some children okay so let's write here some children and now just write here the text field okay and now this text field and then there could be the elevated button uh, there should be a text also let's write here the update update so uh, uh, now uh, whatever the data will be let's write here the on change functionality and on the on change functionality I will call here the set state also I'm going to make a one string here so string text should be no no text okay but with the empty string till now let's go here and on change just write here uh, the text should be the value that is coming from here okay so that we can save it globally okay now uh, uh, let's remove this one for now and let's see what happens uh, uh, text should be the value and okay let's create here this elevated button and let's write here the set state and uh, you can write here data index becomes equal to the text now so let's see what happens uh, let's click on this two uh, you will see this uh, dialogue and let's write something here and I'm going to write here like t t t t t t and now update it oh you will see the t t t t t is showing perfect and uh, also we can we need to remove so how to remove it's very simple how to uh, dialogue how to just close the dialogue automatically so I just call here the navigator dot pop till now let's see uh, I'm going to change this theory so this is theory so now just click on the update and you will see this is three perfect 
so in this way we can delete the data we can also update the data okay so that's it for today